In this session, let's understand the different support options that are available for a provider and tenant in the UI in VMware Cloud Provider Hub. VMware owns the terms of service for provider in VMware Cloud Provider Hub MSP model. And the provider owns the terms of service for their end customers and is responsible for all of the transactions and support for them, including contract order, billing, and other service related questions. Support can be obtained for a provider in both the VMware Cloud Provider Hub UI and API as in the other features. And there are so many different support channels. First is using the support center, can create support requests and can manage all the support tickets for the provider organization as well as for any of their tenant organization. Get contextual help with all the online documents in where, whichever screen they are in. And they have access to all the knowledge base articles and docs from the help button. And using the same help button, they have online chat and online support available, both in VMware Cloud Provider Hub as well as in the services. Now, the support can be provided only to users with the following roles, provider administrator, provider operations administrator, provider account administrator for the accounts he manages and a provider support user. Using the VMware in-product support experience provides help at your fingertips. The intelligent search surfaces popular content based on your location and contextual usage in the product. And there is an online chat which addresses questions or issues with highly skilled support engineers and representatives at a great turnaround time. The whole end-to-end -end support model looks like this. The end customer reaches out to MSP for any questions or support requests or issues and the MSP gets support from business operations or from the support team based on the type of questions and issues they have. For any operations they reach out to weekend operations like the eligibility con commit contract setup, ordering and billing and usage and systems and tools issues. Whereas the GSS supports on all the service technical questions, production support, and any post sales tech support. Looking at the support options SLA, the support center is available online 24 hours to create and edit or close tickets, manage basically the tickets for the provider or the tenant organization, which reaches GSS and based on the severity, the SLAs are SLA is maintained. In the chat window, based on the contextual location, the requests are routed to the right representatives. For example, the hub related requests are routed to a hub representative, whereas if it's a service related VMware Cloud on AWS or VMware Log Intelligence are routed to those representatives. And the SLA for this is currently at 30 minutes and the chat window is um, has is manned from Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let us look at a demo of the support options available for the provider. So using the support center, the provider can create a support request for the provider organization or any of the tenant organization, even from the provider org. So let's create for a tenant org. This internal ID is an ID which is optional and which can be provided for the ticket which has been created in the service provider's ticketing system. This is just to give a mapping and here let's select the category as billing and usage and if we give the subject and description have questions on the usage for January and let's attach a file here the CSV file which we downloaded and basically type the question we can create a support request here and submit the request so based on the severity the 
SLA is maintained and a GSS person will look at it. Now once a ticket is created, you can always update comments, edit it basically and edit and update your comments. Have another query. Post your comments here or also close the support ticket providing a reasons whether it is already resolved or it's a duplicate or you don't need it anymore. For now let's just leave it and go back to the support center. So now the tickets are listed that have been created by you and you also have options to there are multiple options available in the support request where you can view your open requests that is the requests that have been created only by you as a user or all your requests that is basically even the open request or closed request created by you and open requests that were created in this organization be it for your provider org or tenant org and all requests that were created in this organization. Further, you can use the filter to filter on the request for the organization that you're looking for. There. Um, and filter is available on your internal ID too. Now let us look at a provider in a tenant console. The support center is not available. However, for a provider, support is option using the help button. And if we even go open the service, the support options continue to be available for a provider. Let us log in as one of the tenants and see how the support options look. So I'm logging in as Charlie to a tenant organization convo and the we can see that the support center tab support option is not available for Charlie. The only support option available is a contextual help from this help button, which is to search for KBs and other docs related to the location where they are. Similarly, you can use the support tab here for any contextual help. Thanks for watching and do visit our website at cloud.vmware.com slash cloud provider hub for any updates and other resources.